So welcome back to the Drivers Hub and welcome to season three of Road to Valley Run. Now, in today's episode, it's just going to be a general look over on what all cars were running, what is going to happen to my Laura because we're trying to break one record with this car, which is we're trying to make it the fastest stage two Laura in a quarter mile. So I'll tell you all about what's going on. Today I've got the car over here at Auto Diesel Performance for a basic service and like a general checkup to see if everything's running good. I've not been driving the car that much because I've been traveling quite a lot. So let's check on what's going on. On starting the service, my first agenda was to get my pipe across carbon fiber air intake out and give it a good wash as it had gotten pretty dirty. We also removed the rear wheels as I was going to be changing my rear brake pads as they had worn out quite a bit. The air intake upon cleaning looked super clean and we got to installing it back in the car. A big shout out to Bridgestone India for sponsoring us yet again for our third year in the Valley Run. Now you must already be familiar with tyres like the Balance B series or the performance oriented Potenza line of tyres or even the comfort oriented Turanzas. But Bridgestone has now come out with an all new tyre specifically designed for our Indian roads. The Bridgestone Sero comes with some state of the art tyre technology, stuff like a carbon tread compound with strong reinforcements, a double ply construction wall and 3D tread for optimum grip, better safety and all weather usage. What is more impressive is that the Sturdo, compared to its competitors, has 29% more tyre life and when it comes to designing this tyre, Bridgestone India took into account the usage of the average Indian consumer and this tyre is specifically made for our Indian roads. So if you're looking for a tyre which has amazing grip, all weather usage and amazing comfort, the Bridgestone Sturdo is the way to go. So the servicing for the car is just done. Now Niranjan is going to be uploading a new map to the car. It has a couple of tweaks here and there, it's just a more refined version of the current map that is there on the car. But that is not going to be the final map that we will be running for the race. For the race we are going to be putting a 100 round map, which is basically a map which is optimized for 100 octane. And maybe get a little bit more power out of it. In the Valley Run this year we are again partnering with Bridgestone India, which is a big big thing for us again two years in a row and we hope to get some good results with them this year as well. So let me just list out the cars that we're running with them. My Laura is there, Tanay's Abarth's Punto is there, mostly Niranjan's VRS 230 is there, uh, Niranjan's Skoda Fabia is going to be there, the Zen over here is going to be running. We're going to be having the super rare one of one X5 M50D running with us this time, which is going to be amazing. And we're expecting that thing to produce some really good results because it's a tri-turbocharged inline six. So the power output that we're expecting is going to be mad. Apart from that, these are most of the cars that we're going to be running. Last year, the logistics for running so many cars was quite high. So we don't want to risk it again. And we want to have a short and precise group with us. So most of the cars this year, especially my Laura and the VRS230, aren't going to be that competitive because of the regulation changes that have happened in the categories that we're running this year. So yeah, don't expect some insane stuff with those things. But with my Laura, we're planning, like I said, to break the stage two Laura record this time. Because this time, we can do interior weight reduction. That's going to play a big role. Uh, in terms of other modifications that I might be doing, Maybe an intercooler is in question, but the thing is, it's not fitting in my budget if I want to get a proper bolt-on intercooler. So most of the intercoolers that are there in my uh, budget are custom intercoolers. Most of the intercoolers that are there in my budget are custom intercoolers which will need custom piping. 
it's not really that effective because the stock OEM intercooler that is there is pretty effective itself. So maybe an intercooler is coming, but a couple of more things might be done to the car. Let's see how it goes. So we're just done with the servicing. We've uploaded the new map. Let's see how the car is performing. Let's just get over some of these bad roads. So I'm not expecting a major difference, but let's see how it's performing. My engine check light has gone, but there's a chance it might come back because uh, it's a Laura. You never know what happens. So we're just going to give a quick little flyby to the boys over here as well at Auto Disney. Not going to drive it too much. Definitely feels a little bit more lively for sure. I can feel that it's a little bit more lively, for sure. The throttle response is a little better, feels a little faster, but that's maybe down to the service. It's not been serviced in a long time. Yeah, feels really nice, feels dialed in now. Can't wait for this to be on a 100 round map. Definitely building a lot of boost now. All right, let's just say bye to the auto disc boys and talk to you later. This is just the beginning of our series Road to Valley Run Season 3. There is a lot more to come. So stay tuned for all of the epic content. Subscribe to our channel, like and share the video and I'll see you in the next one. Also, before I sign off, a big shout out to Downshift Store for giving us this amazing looking team kit for the Valley Run this year. I know this stuff looks absolutely amazing, so stay tuned on Instagram and get to know more about Downshift Store. We've shared all of their social media links down in the description.